your primary life duty is to seek God more and more by today. You cannot outgrow that. Next level. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 9. Let me tell you, everything the Bible says God has called us unto, they are all on the way to glory. If it's not glory, it must lead to glory. The final end is what? Glory. God is faithful. Yes. By whom you were called unto the fellowship of his son. You are called to the fellowship. That's what I'm talking about now. Some of us, the only time we read is when we have a, a, a message to preach. When have you picked your Bible and said, God, I have to understand this doctrine of predestination. Before you go and go go, ah, I go go. The brethren, Look at me. For the first five years of my Christian life, I refused to eat crocodiles. Some things don't come cheap. Look. If you have a topic you want to talk about, the first part of call is not Gogu. It's God. Gogu can add flesh here and there because you don't know all things. No matter how much you wait on God, you are not the body of Christ, you are only a member. So others can supply. But that's not your primary resource. Please, I beg you in Jesus' name. Don't use Google to replace God. God. Praise God. In pressing like that, glory is coming. Glory of God will be rubbing on you. The longer you stay with God, not to go and preach, but seek Him for knowing Him. That's what brings the glory. You will see that you will struggle less with sins. When you see yourself begin to battle many sins, check the last time you fellowship with God. Yes. Let's spend time in God's presence. How come you have time to prepare messages when you are going to preach? And you don't have time to spend it with God when you don't have time to preach. When you are not called to come and preach. That makes your priority in how you are sin, not who you are. Ah, that makes a powerful preacher. What do you want to do with that? That cannot bring glory. What brings glory is how much of God you know intimately. He said, those who diligently seek him. That was the same word I was using in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 17. Hebrews 12, 17. Where they were describing Esau. That how he sought repentance with tears. That's the way we seek God. It's not just I read few scriptures in the morning before I go to work. Painstakingly. That's what we make you to have dominion over sin. Your spirit man is developed. You will not even know. I can repay. I won't get no one struggle. What? Well, uh, um, uh, what? Well, three months. Uh, you become a wonder to yourself. You are not even praying sugar prayer about that matter. But because you are always in fellowship with God. And then bam, when you talk about you will be down on Baba. And you will be down on Baba. And you will be down on Baba. And you will be to basu pelu olorun wa joro pa olorun to ba daru pa lu olorun ogo ore aye mo e lara that's the secret brethren that is our calling and when his glory is on you now when you come out even when you shake somebody's hand the whole staff is not somebody preach 45 minutes may not bless them that you're shaking that is greater ministry than the noise on the pulpit that the ministry of disciples. Praise God. Where were all the anointed men when God used Ananias to go and open the eyes of Brother Saul? That was a disciple. A man, those are utility players for God. You can use them for anything. They are in the pool anytime. You will be carrying title. <laughs> May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. So, talking about the glory, we press into glory. Number one, I say, you have to, your primary life duty is to seek God more and more by today. You cannot outgrow that. And how do you do that? By fellowshipping with his son. Are you getting what I'm saying? The next thing, there will be demand in that place of fellowship. Romans 12, verse 1. I'm telling you the order of to enter into ministry now. Romans 12, 1. What does he say? I beseech you. I beg you, name, brethren, by the by mercies, the mercies of, God, of God. That you do what? That she present your bodies a living sacrifice. That is your first ministry. It's not preaching. 
holy, acceptable unto God, which is your, which is your reasonable service. Any service you do outside of this is unreasonable. Uh, it's Bible now. It's not my judgment. Anyone I do outside of this is unreasonable service I'm giving to God. Hebrews 12, 28. There are services that are not acceptable to God. But you won't know because he doesn't give you scores sheet every day. I will take us back to where I started from briefly. Then I will bring you to where I am now. Then I will conclude. Is that okay? I showed us that our calling are not the callings. You know, Hebrews, I mean, Romans 11.29. Romans 11.29. Say, the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. Those are, you know, I'm evangelist, I'm a giver, I'm in the help ministry, I'm a preacher, I'm a, I'm a teacher, and the rest of them. But I said, that's not the calling. The calling is only one. And there's only one hope of that calling. The hope of that calling is glory. What is that glory? The glory we lost in the Garden of Eden. That was what Jesus came to bring back. And how will he do it? He dealt with sin. The method fashion in Romans 8 3 says Jesus came for the jugular. <laughs> the main vein that connects everything, Jesus came and cut it. Oh, so they are like Lagbara. He did not just come to forgive us, he came to give us dominion over sin. Praise God. So don't stay at the point of my sins are forgiven. There is more in Christ. As you fellowship in him, you begin to gain ascendancy over those besetting sins, over weights. You know ways you can't drop them. When you begin to fellowship more, you can drop them easily and move on without looking back. And I said that in order we are doing, I'm saying God uses us as he trains us. But there is a, there is a, a limit to get to on the downside that you have to stop all else and focus on yourself. Are we getting what I'm saying? Because it is your character that God is after, not your charisma. And I told you the strength of ministry is not charisma, it is character. And I showed you all those scriptures, Matthew 7, 28, and 29 is the message. He said, they, have never, they had never such his message before because he was preaching what he was living. And I showed you that there are three levels that show like two. He had to be son of God first, to do what he did so that I could preach the way he was preaching. So we have to be before we begin to do. We are always jumping at doing. At best, most of the time, we jump more at preaching. So we have skipped the most important thing. Bang! He said, come to me, I will make you. You have to be. In Mark 1, Mark 3, 13 and 14, we don't have time to read. Mark 3, 13 and 14, the Bible says, Jesus called disciples unto himself so that they can be with him first then that they might, he might send them to go and preach the fellowship with God is more important than your ministry Mark 3, 13 and 14 note it, we won't have time to read he called them to himself that they might be with him that's the number one thing after that what? he will not send them to preach and before I send them, in Luke chapter 9 verse 1 and John chapter 10 verse 1, the Bible says he called them unto himself again and he gave them power to do. So, when they now started doing, then they were preaching because they had been. That's the right order. Do we get it? Now, and I'm saying that in the ministry that we are running, we must remember at all times that the church was established to establish dominion over sin, not for our sins to be forgiven alone. So in our living, we must live every day of our lives pressing forward to oppress more sins than allow them to oppress us and we're asking for forgiveness. I'm saying that in our ministries, we have to make sure that we deal with issues of sin as mercilessly as Jesus did, or else we are in a clubhouse, not a church. Because that was what he came for. Miracles and other things are, were by the way. He came for sin. Sin must not be looked kindly upon at any time in your personal life first. And I'm not saying we should be brutal with sinners. We have the recommendation in Galatians 6, how to deal with those who hear. 
But I'm saying, be brutal on sin, but not on sinner. Praise God. Praise God. And I'm saying, if you are going to return back to glory, it is a departure from unholiness and uncleanness. We read 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, same one dress of them. And I've shown all the pattern now. Come to God, you must search him vigilantly out. Number two, fellowship with his son. Number three is that you must present your body a living sacrifice. And it is that now that will now make you. That when you now go into ministry and reproduce, you are reproducing other disciples. Let's note this as I conclude. Luke 6, verse 20. He said, a disciple is the best he can be is to be like his master. I want to show you the connection between discipleship and sonship. Check it for me. It's one of his six twenties. That scripture, why discipleship is important. Even Jesus was a disciple, according to Isaiah 50, verse 4 down. Now, to be a disciple is a learner, it's a pupil, not a student. I don't have time to talk about that now. A, 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 a disciple is a learner, it's a pupil. A puppy learns the teacher, he doesn't learn what he's saying. My auntie, my, my auntie, our uncle, our uncle does like this, this and, hey daddy, you don't know how to wash your hand. When our uncle is washing hand, he washes hand like this. You, you send to go and learn ABC, but he's learning uncle. That's a disciple. Many of us are students, we pick and choose what to take. We hate the math teacher, and love the English teacher. But puppies, no discrimination. They take everything. That's how God wants us to be under him. That's how we can return back to the glory. That is the essence of what I'm saying. Our time is far spent. I can't go further. But the message is this, that the calling is a calling back unto glory. And we're going to get back there, we must be willing to endure sufferings so that we can learn obedience so that we can return back to the place of glory. May we rise as we pray. Please. I want us to take that song as a prayer twice as we flow into prayers. You want to know what? I am the me to share. Only one more time. He won't know you. Baba Modeo. I am the me to share. Can we talk to God now? As you are talking to God, if God puts it in your heart, to pull out hair and hold the horn of the altar. Be, be free. I will spend just a few minutes to pray for you before I leave. Because the Bible says, smite the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. But when you heal the shepherd, the congregation will also be healed. If you get it, life, souls will get it right. But spend time in his presence. Give priority to your fellowship with Christ above Service. Service is part of it, but it is inferior to our personal relationship to the Father through Jesus. Hallelujah.